Hi everyone, this is Lillian Motambo. I'm here at Chakunkula Ward 32 of Monali constituency and I'm here to present an empowerment that I promised the young people here in uh, uh, Chakunkula Ward. Um, we've been waiting for uh, deliveries and we are here to present this gift. Uh, share this video. It's important that you see what is going on here. And this is my promise as a member of parliament, uh, even before I have even stepped in parliament, I'm already working for the people of Monali constituency. So we're waiting for one more thing which we have managed to succeed. Now, what I have been doing is each time I go to areas, I ask them what they want to do. So the youth of Chakunkula, picked this project and I am here to officially hand over after they were delivered. So here is the UPND office. For those of you who have never come across it, that's Chakungula Ward. So this is the empowerment that I am here to present to the youths of Chakungula. This is what they wanted. They wanted the sand, this, and the other sand there. We are waiting for one more lord. And what the youth were saying was that they are tired of just sitting at home doing nothing. And since we have a space here by the UPND office here of uh, Chakunkula, that if they could be empowered with this type of project, and that way they won't be doing what they were doing. So this is their project. As you can see, the youth are here. We're waiting for the UPND media team to turn up as well. But meanwhile, I am using my uh, Facebook platform for you people to see this this is what we have been doing so we had to get some shovels as well so as you can see the shovels are new so we'll do the handover in a minute this is what the youths will be doing rather than them sitting doing nothing this is what they will be doing um, MP Afrika Kusemen Zamanje not here wait for 2021 we start now with the little that God has been able to bless me with, I'm here to present this gift. This is the other one as well, and that's their space. So that's, at least from this, this is their capital. They will use this to be able to, you know, have money. Because after they sell this, they'll have more and more and more. And this area itself in Chakunkula uh, is a busy, busy, busy area. So guaranteed um, they will sell out. In fact... They were supposed to sell, it was it yesterday or the other day, but because they had no shovels, they said, no, we need to do a proper presentation. So I'm here to do a proper presentation uh, with the team, and I brought my pastor as well to pray for this business so that this business should succeed. Um, it's imperative that the young people, they are empowered this way. And from here, next week, I'm empowering the youths of Chainda Ward as well so that they could also be empowered. So thank you so much for your love, your kindness. God is faithful. God is kind. Thank you. So I will be waiting for the pastor and then we will do the officiation. As you can see, those are the youths there. And we're here. We're busy. So as long as you are a youth in Chakunkula Ward, this is your empowerment. If a Chipano chat, Chipani chat, Kuribat in the one you are joining in Alelo, you'll be part of this. this empowerment. So, waiting for the chairman as well and a few people. But I thought I should present this to you. Uh, youth of Idabo Mbain, me when you picked me as a member of parliament, Sinikam, but first I wait for adoption. No, we have already started working now. This is an empowerment that the young people will never forget because it has never happened before. So, we're going to start short. Okay, it has never happened before in the island. Okay, so these are some of the youths of Chakukula Ward. Yeah, Joseph saying, I saw you at the debate. There was no time to talk much.
So that's uh, Chakunkula, um, Vice Chairman. So now I'll be speaking to our young man here. This is one of the youths of Chakunkula one that we met two weeks ago now. Yeah, so I've stuck to my promise by delivering this empowerment. What would you like to tell the people on news about this? Uh, for what I can say.
they are vulnerable. Some of them have even been abusing alcohol and drugs because there is no empowerment. But like this, they will have a focus to say, okay, at least we have something to keep us going. And eventually, they will even start uh, trying to see how they can build their houses. But by next year, 2021, as long as me, I'm the MP of Monali constituency, majority of them, they will be well to do because we will empower them even bigger than this. But if you want to see the heart and how we are moving forward. But we just want to go and see the sun the other side and listen to the master as he prays for the team and the courage is in. just first talking to the guys privately but I just want to uh, encourage one or two people those of you who live in uh, the diaspora and you know you want to support the people in Zambia let me know there's a lot of projects here that we can help to sustain the livelihoods of these young people um, it's not fair that the government does not look up to them yes they have stated that they have what they call empowerment but the empowerment that is available it takes you uh, 25 pages to fill in and the money is not even accessible but with this they just wrote me a short letter I told them look write me a letter of what you want to do and I have delivered and it's just by the grace of God if you believe in the vision of a youth then remember to support me as you are a member of parliament but I'm so excited uh, for this um, event and what's going on so thank you so much everybody that has supported and believed in me from day one I, I thank God, and I thank God even for my YouTube channel. People would say, oh, this YouTube, this YouTube. I, and believe you me, YouTube has been the greatest blessing in my life. And I can tell you, my YouTube channel is what is sustaining me. I'm talking about fi financially because Google pays me on my YouTube. So through that as well, I'm helping other people. Because without my YouTube channel income, um, I don't know where I would be. But God has made it possible that I'm even the highest paid YouTuber because of what I do. So we're just waiting for the pastor to finish encouraging them. It's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, they are being encouraged. And then we're here to pray. I love Chakukolo because I'm here wearing my chitenge and nobody's even talking. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free to walk around. So thank you so much. I will. So this is what we're doing about. Yes. So this is what we're doing for the sand. Eh?
I give you this sand to you today. I give you this business to you. Father, there is a reason why you've brought your daughter to this family. Have mercy, Father. It is not the vote she wants, but she's looking at the people who are suffering. God, you, you have said you cannot see, we cannot see your hand, but you pass through people to help your vulnerable children. Father, these are the youth of the generation. Father, you've said anything you ask in my name, my son, I shall give you. Father, we pray in your name that this business may it be taken care of by you. I give you this business to your children. As we walk out from here, Father, I pray that this business shall attract people. And Father, they shall prosper. Bring unity. Bring unity to this, your children. Give them unity and cancel every plans of the devil over whatever he's speaking of their lives. Some of them are evangelists. Some of them will travel different places. But Father, I pray that touch Lillian to continue this job. Not because she wants a job, she wants a, a fault, but she's doing it, Father, for the reasons of you. She's representing you, not her money, but your wealthy. Father, have mercy to your children around me. Have mercy and touch them, O oh Lord. God, let the blood of Jesus take in charge. Bring peace in them. In the name of Jesus. Father, I am your slave. I am your slave. And have mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 